Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion on Open Evans Daily Devotional Study Channel, a platform that brings you the Open Evans Devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible even as we read along today. Today's date, Monday, June 26, 2023. Topic, You Are Nothing Without God. Memory Verse, Psalm 103 verse 10. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Bible reading is taken from Luke 7 verses 36 to 47. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. 37. And, behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment. 38. And stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. 39. Now when the Pharisee which had bidden him saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. 40. And Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he saith, Master, say on. 41. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors, one owed five hundred pence, and the other fifty. 42. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? 43. Simon answered and said, I suppose that he, to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. 44. And he turned to the woman, and said unto Simon, Sayest thou this woman? I entered into thine house. 45. Thou gavest me no water for my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears, and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in hath not ceased to kiss my feet. 46. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. 47. Wherefore I say unto thee, Her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. Our topic once again is You Are Nothing Without God. Message In 1 Kings 3 verse 4, Solomon decided to give God a really special offering. He sacrificed 1,000 cattle. The priests must have been very surprised, but then Solomon considered the circumstances behind his birth and felt unworthy to be king. Ordinarily, Solomon should have been hated by all, but there he was, the one chosen to be king. He knew he did not deserve what he had received from God so he spared nothing when it came to thanking him. Many a time, you don't thank God enough because you think you deserve all that he has given you, but if you look closely, you would see that you are wrong. The day God pointed out to me that because I am not a child from the first wife of my father, I ought not to be used by him according to the law, but that his mercy had found me usable, I became more humble in my thanksgiving. Isaiah 64 verse 6 says, But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness is as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. If you think your blessings are a result of your hard work, you should go and see some people who are working far harder than you, yet are not rich. 
If you think your success thus far is based on how smart you are, you need to go to the asylum and see many brilliant people who have lost their minds. The fact that you can even wake up in the morning is enough reason to give thanks to God. Psalm 3 verse 5 says, I laid me down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. If you think deeply, you will see that you don't deserve any of the things that God has given to you. You will see that it is in Him that you live and move and even have your being, Acts 17 verse 28. You will see that without Him, you can do nothing, John 15 verse 5. I don't know about you, but as for me, I know that I would have been long gone if it wasn't for Him. I know that everything I am is a result of His tender mercies towards me, so I will praise Him with all my heart. I will never hold back anything in giving Him thanks. Action Point Spend at least one hour just thanking God for all that you are and have today. Action Point Spend at least one hour just thanking God for all that you are and have today. Bible in One Year, Psalm 119 Our hymn today is Hymn 6. I am so glad that our Father in Heaven. Have a great day. See you tomorrow, God bless you.